a sold event as it ever full in here. There's lots of standing yeah. room. It's great to see. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the All main right, event of the evening. It is a full Muay Thai, Muay Thai rules match for the WKA men's 154 pound world title. This bout will be contested over five rounds of two minutes with a one minute rest period in between rounds. The trophies and the bout brought to you by Team Smandich Muay Thai, RJ Fight Gear, The Shooting Edge, Century Casino, Arashido Martial Arts, and Geo Grout Inc. In the blue corner, fighting out of Brazilian Thai GSB Gym in Nagoya, Japan, trained by Yuki Tatsuno, weighing in at 154 pounds with a fight record of 43 wins, eight losses. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Takahiro Okuyama. Okuyama. Takahiro Okuyama making his way to the ring, bringing with him his 43 and eight record from Brazilian Thai GSB gym in Nagoya, Japan, trained by Yuki Tatsuno. As I mentioned earlier, Yuki Tatsuno trained here under Mike Miles for a long time, competing as an amateur athlete. Brings back uh, Japanese fighters here to Canada from time to time. This bout brought to you by Team Spandich Muay Thai, RJ Fight Gear, The Shooting Edge, Century Casino, Arashido Martial Arts, and Geo Growth Incorporated. Action packed main event on deck. Takahiro is definitely the shorter individual, and I don't even need Chris to be in the ring to know that. Absolutely, yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this will be interesting uh, range. Chris is tough to get a hold of on a, on a good day, and he's gonna he's pretty good at the long range game yeah. already, so. He's very slick. Takahiro looks like he's got some power in the legs for sure, so we'll see how that And uh, in the red game. corner, fighting out of Lampayu in Calgary, trained by Jason Bryant, weighing in at 154 pounds, with a record of 30 wins, 10 losses. He is the Muay Thai Canada Canadian champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Chris McMillan, McMillan. Fans are on their feet for Chris McMillan, bringing with him his 30 and 10 record as well as his Muay Thai Canada title and various other titles as well. Looking to add some world gold to his trophy case. I'm going to stretch it out in the corner, but he moved out just in time for Chris to come <laughs> yeah. by. <laughs> Okuyama electing not to do a Ramoy. So, more Brazilian than Thai at his yeah. gym, I guess. Well, at least he's wearing Thai shorts. There you go. That's a step <laughs> in the right direction. Yeah. Again, yeah, 
again, this bro brought to you by Team Spanish Muay Thai, RJ Fight Gear, The Shooting Edge, Century Casino, Arashido Martial Arts, and Geo Grout Incorporated. Our main event of the evening, WKA World Title on the line. Hometown favorite here, Chris Mc McMillan. Taking on Takahiro Okuyama from Nagoya, Japan. John Brock will be in charge of the action for this main event. Got maximum capacity here at the Century Casino. Sure sounds like it. two minutes so we'll see how the uh, feeling out process goes the early going here a little translation going on in the corner it looks like between uh, yeah. Yuki Tatsuno and uh, referee Jean Brack translating information for Okuyama a little bit of a puzzled look on his face hope he's not uh, <laughs> heard some rules he's not expecting <laughs> yeah uh, usually everything like that is sorted out in the fighters Pre-fight there should be yeah. All right, gentlemen, tonight's main event. You both know the rules. I expect you to fight clean, fair, and hard. Obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up. Good luck. Here we go. tough for Okuyama to get into that long range. Yeah. Let's see what he has in store, how he plans to get in. He's fast though. Fast and looks explosive by his build, so. Strategic in the early going here. Yeah, just feeling each other out a bit. Expect we'll see this. We are halfway through the round here already, so we'll probably see this for the duration of the first. Let's see what the clinch is like. That McMillan with the height advantage in the clinch. Generally, height is an advantage for doing the clinch. Oh, nice combo. Takahiro not phased, stepping right back in. Throwing some elbows there. Sloppy, but elbows. Yeah, and that's generally the problem with just shelling up like that. You can't stop the person from coming in and launching an elbow. I can hear we got a fight on our hands. I think so, absolutely. Which is good, that's what we want to see. <laughs> we came here for the entertainment. As much fun as it was for Tim Lowe to end early, I don't mind seeing this one go a little while. And yeah, exactly.
Attacker Hero is fast, so it's going to be interesting to see because he seems patient enough that Chris might actually have to press it. And usually that's not something Chris has to deal with. He's usually fighting fairly aggressive guys or guys that are willing to push it. So it'll be interesting if Chris actually has to be the one to initiate. Yeah, and uh, Okuyama is very fast. And like I said, I think he's got some power too. So see what happens if he lands any of those quick shots. He's answering back. It's absolutely right. Hands are getting a little low and maybe a little yeah. feeling too much confidence. I don't think that's a good idea. McMillan has no problem getting those kicks up high. No. Especially when there's a, what, a half a foot. Exactly, damage. yeah. He's answering back. Nice shot, body shot there. Fiyama very active, moving around, doesn't stay in still for very long. Which generally moving around too much in Thai isn't exactly great, but he's not moving around for nothing, and that's the thing. So it's he waits until Chris does something, and then he moves, or he, he moves off of something he throws. So there's a bit of a difference. Nice knee. The clinch. Let's see how long the clinch sticks here. Keep John back. Doesn't look like it's a place Takahiro, Takahiro is super comfortable with. No, and he managed to get out of that one too. I mean, Chris wants to go in the clinch. You should hang on to him. Last 10 seconds of the second round here. Oh, a jump, kick, knee of some sort. Good round. I, I would have to give that to Takahiro, I think. Yeah, he seemed to be, yeah, it was a good round. He does a good job because he always moves off of any time Chris throws something, but every once in a while, he'll stay there and throw. So when Chris is expecting a movement, actually he steps in and throws something. So he's keeping that Difficult to guess the range. Yeah, he's been, he answered that round with uh, several good combos. You see, here's where McMillan ran into the clinch. Like you said, Okuyama didn't look particularly comfortable in the clinch. He managed to slip no. his way out of there. See, right there. Back up, back up, fire forward. <laughs> Looks like a bit of a new puzzle for Chris to solve here. Absolutely. We're only second round of five, so... Six more minutes to figure it out. Yama really seeking in some body shots. There's not too much damage, there, but he's leaning into him pretty hard. Yeah, and judging by the way the... Ooh. Oh, nice step in deep. That one's always good for at least one of those in the fight. Spinning elbow lands. Looks like Chris, he, you know, he sense that Takahiro wasn't comfortable getting in close, so gonna just I think he's gonna just start smothering him, grind him out. Trying to go up, way up. <laughs> Trying to return the favor with a teep to the face, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Nice step in knee. Caught him nicely. I'm gonna say Chris is eventually gonna land one of those head kicks as Takahiro ducks out yeah, right he's there. Ducking, ducking out, his hands have come down quite a bit here, very casually around his waist. You know what, McMillan can land that high, that high kick from pretty tight range too. Yeah. A little snappy kick that he puts right up around your ears. 
Takahiro's doing a good job though. He uses that teeth quite well. Last 15 seconds here, 10 seconds of the fourth round. That one, that one's in Chris's corner yeah, favor. Chris was definitely pushing the pace yeah. there. He was chasing down his little sense of urgency in his game, I think. He knows he wants, and he's pretty good about that, about ramping up in all his fights, ramps up the pace as it goes along. Yeah. into round four. I think I was getting ahead of myself. I thought that was round four already, but yeah, I'm just no. entering round four That's now. Two, actually. No slowing down from Takahiro. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep that distance or if Chris is going to be able to smother him out. He's breathing pretty heavy and decided yeah. to take a seat in the corner this time, whereas the last couple rounds he didn't. Not sure my uh, Japanese geography is not that good. I don't know where Nagoya, Nagoya is, if it's on... Uh, at sea level or not, of course, yeah. there is some elevation here. I'm not even going to attempt to try. Chris is picking it up a bit. We oh, just missed the left hook. Stepping with that knee. It's, it's working for him. Takahiro not backing down, though. But he doesn't have the power. It doesn't look like his like Chris. Yeah, he's definitely uh, slowing down a little bit here. His pace is quite as much jam. Yeah, working the short elbow and landing the knee in the midsection. Takahiro's got to be careful there. He's going to eat a knee or a high kick. Yeah, he, he bends a over lot. a bit. Nice. Oh, almost. Chris just stalking for a tucker. Oh, there it was. Yeah. A nice knee. Yeah, he's working that mid-range knee quite well here yeah. last this round. And that's one of Chris's key weapons. He does that cross to step in knee. There oh, it is. Just missed that knee to the head. Yeah, I mean, Millen really good at mixing up his strikes. He's using all the tools in his toolbox here tonight. And again, that's a that's a trademark of what he does. Absolutely, he, yeah. He's, uses a couple rounds to uh, assess the situation and adapt. Just goes to the big left hook right at the, at the buzzer here. Takahiro walking back to his corner, not like a man that feels like he's winning. No, That's definitely uh, some bounces come out of his step here this yeah. round. He really needs to press the pace here. I think McMillan's pulled ahead on the scorecard, my scorecard anyway, you know, the unofficial card over here in our corner. Yeah, it depends how they scored round one, but he definitely has the last two. For sure. Sometimes round one is just a scratch. Yeah, it was a nice combination here in a replay. You see McMillan worked the short elbow and then a right elbow and a left knee. He's really changing up the levels of strikes. Yeah, and there With it is. Takahiro, as he's, it's okay when you're fast and you're fresh, you can get out of there, but once you start getting tired and you take those chances of ducking, you gotta expect shins are gonna be coming your way. Fifth and final round. Just, yeah, another kick by Chris, counter. From downtown, he throws that one nice oh, and lands. Yeah. Hero keeping on the move. Millen definitely chasing down, pressing the action here. 
There it is. Ooh, right across the chest, a little bit of. That's what happens when you start yeah. ducking around. I think he took that one more chest than face, which I think was maybe a little bit of chin. It's tough to say. Yeah, I thought it was a flipper right to the chin. Enough to put him on his butt anyway. Big right knee for McMillan. Into the last minute of this five round bout. McMillan coming in with this all shelled up. Now he's starting to really find his range. Step in, elbow with that knee. Just a big brother move, sweet. <laughs> Dump him down yeah. just for good measure. Ten seconds of the round here. Oh, that spin of elbow just missed. Great, exciting fight. Yeah, nice way to round up our fight. night. Let's get the crowd on their feet. Appreciate that good quality entertainment. Takahiro Okuyama hanging his head a little bit. He had a tough match here against the Canadian for this WKA world title. Good match, one. Great job of Chris again finding the right piece for that puzzle. Absolutely, yeah. A little bit of a slow start, but uh, as usual, evaluate the situation and address the co accordingly. Bout was brought to you by Team Spanish Muay Thai, RJ Fight Gear, The Shooting Edge, Century Casino, Arashido Martial Arts, and Geo Grote Incorporated. Our seventh and final bout in the books here, just waiting for our judge's decision. WKA world title on the line here at Journey Fight Series 16. It's a little bit of replay here. We have it. There is that kick. Uh, a little chin. Yeah. For sure. We sat him down. Eventually, we figured it was going to land. I think uh, Okuyama may have gotten off easy with that one. It was uh, enough to put him down, but it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. And there's the patent big brother move. Absolutely <laughs> dumping him down. <laughs> Just waiting for our uh, official announcement here. WK official in the ring with his with the belt. Ready to present to our winner. Another great night of fights here, Cody. Thanks as yeah, always for your you. insight and professional analysis. <laughs> this, I would have to say, is probably one of the better cards I've seen in a while. All the fights, except for maybe the unfortunate. Directly after we announce the winner of this bout, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we will also yeah. be yeah. announcing Very. the fight of the night. Great night. Getting their gloves off here while the uh, officials tally up the score. Good fight, though. It was nice to see a bit of a different style come over here and try their hand. Absolutely, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation. Another fantastic bout. But this one, the main event of the evening, to round it all out. The trophies and the bout, again, brought to you by Team Smandich Muay Thai, RJ Fight Gear, The Shooting Edge, Century Casino, Arashido Martial Arts, and Geograut Inc.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by unanimous decision. And the WKA men's amateur 154 pound world champion in the red corner, Chris McMillan. McMillan. Crowd erupts as Chris McMillan puts another <laughs> yeah. belt around his waist. WKA world champion. Be interesting to see if he goes on to defend or if he moves on to the pro arena. Great way to wrap up our, e our evening here with the... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep the round of applause going for both combatants. They have also been voted the fight of the night. Our main event, fight of the night, just the way you want I it to go down. I believe there's another trophy here for you. Big round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Nagoya, Japan, Takahiro Okoyuma. <laughs> and your world champion, Chris McMillan. Well, nice to see the WK World title stay here in Canada, in Calgary with Chris Thank McMillan. you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That is all that we have for you this evening. Get yourselves home safely, and we will see you again in the gym. Thanks again for everybody taking part in uh, Journey Fight Series 16. Another one in the books. We will see you all next time. Absolutely.